Nick speaking and welcome to this video right neck on learning curve I'm just sharing my experiences and in this video we're looking at Vargard we're moving straight on from the Nemesil video so if you haven't seen that because it's sort of connected go and check that out um, so yeah um, basically if you take Nemesil you can take uh, Vargard without actually taking up a HQ slot which is very useful indeed uh, now first of all let's look at the model um, I don't have the original one mainly because it's fine cast and uh, I just basically refuse to buy fine cast so this is my Necron Lord that I have this one's got a magnetized arm so I've got the Warsai uh, which is what Vargard has and then I've also got the Staff of Light which is just magnetized onto there which is very useful so yes, um, he doesn't take a, a slot up, which means that effectively you can have Nemesaur, you can have Vargard, and then you can have one of the other HQs, maybe a Destroyer Lord with your Wraiths, you know, something like that. So very, very useful. Um, basically, Vargard is a helper for Nemesaur, because Vargard is a pretty decent assault uh, character. He has, what is weapon skill 6, and he's got a Warsai, some great AP, plus 2 to strength, 2d6 for vehicles. Uh, it's pretty decent in the assault. Now, although mine is holding that resurrection orb, he doesn't actually have a resurrection orb. Um, but, of course, uh, Nemsor does, as we previously discussed. He has a 2 plus save. There's no invulnerable save, which is a shame. And he doesn't have, obviously, things like my shackle scarabs, etc. But he does have... Cleaving counterbow, which basically means he gets one extra attack uh, every time your enemy misses in close combat, which is pretty decent. Strength five, okay, is initiative two, but we're Necrons, we're always initiative two. So he's quite a decent character in close combat, and what that brings to your army is the special rule where I think it's called Vargard's Duty. So basically, if your Nemesaur unit, the unit that you've got Nemesaur in, gets assaulted by your enemy, Vargar will automatically uh, deep strike over to help Nemesaur out. We discussed in the previous one that Nemesaur is not great in close combat, so if somebody targets that unit, then Vargar, basically his bodyguard, he comes over and he sorts that unit out and bops them on the head. Very, very useful, a nice surprise, good fun. Um, and it works really well. So that is an option. Now coupled alongside that he has the Veil of Darkness uh, which is where he can basically deep strike, uh, he can move around the board using deep strike but unlike the Veil Tech, the cryptic with the Veil of Darkness uh, he can do this even if he's in close combat which is very very useful. Um, so you've got some nice deep strike options uh, couple that along with Nemsor's deep strike options where uh, he can allow some of your reserves to come in when your enemy's reserves come in, which is very nice. Um, and of course, um, basically, if uh, if you deep strike this guy uh, next to Nemesaur, then he doesn't scatter as well if you're within six inches. So once again, when you're using your Veil of Darkness, you can come back to safety... You can deep strike next to um, Big Z and you won't scatter, which is very, very useful. And of course you can take your unit that you're with, with Val of Darkness. So you've got a lot of manoeuvrability, uh, a lot of fun with this character. I have to be honest, I don't use him that much. I have used uh, Nemesaur, previously discussed, but I don't really use this combination much. I know a lot of people do, I know a lot of people... Um, enjoy using this combo and it's not that I don't enjoy using it it's just that I've got into the mindset um, of using other units things like Destroyer Lords and the Overlord um, and of course Imatech my main three HQs that I use but these are definitely very usable um, as this is just my learning curve as I said previously so I'm just expressing what I've uh, what I've learnt and to be fair these learning curves are really also geeing me up uh, to actually start playing stuff so probably after this video I'm probably going to give this combo a couple of tries because yes it, it's it's great fun okay so I think that's it uh, for this guy and uh, next up we're going to have a look at Illuminor